So on the used sunfish I bought, there's the halyard cleat hook where you put the halyard rope around. Um, and the back of it is just a little bit wiggly. It, it wiggles up there. And I've tried tightening the screw and tightening it kind of pops in and out again. So it definitely needs to be strengthened. Um, and yet the hole isn't super bad or completely stripped out. Well, maybe it's a little, maybe it's stripped out, but it, there's some help for the hole, I believe. You know, this one here is pretty good, and the one back there, you know, it doesn't look too bad. I've cleaned this up with a little bit of alcohol already. So what I'm going to try doing is sticking a hardwood toothpick in there, chopping it off, um, put a little silicone over the whole thing, and then screw this thing back in, and that'll give this screw a lot more stuff to bite on. Might throw a little bit of Type Bond 3 waterproof wood glue in there as well to hold everything together. And I'm going to see if that will give me 10, 20, 50 more years of life. Um, if not, I may need to get an access hatch somehow so I can put something on the back to back this thing up. All right, so I have some Tight Bond 3 Ultimate Wood Glue, also waterproof, interior, exterior. I have my toothpick. I have some diagonal cutters, which I'm going to cut my toothpick to size with. Boom. And probably needs to be just a little bit. Let's see. I want to make sure that thing will not poke this up. No, I'm pushing it down far enough with this thing, so that's fine. Um, I have some silicone, and uh, <laughs> this one has been opened already, so in case it won't come out, I have a brand new thing of silicone. Always ready to have that. And let's give this thing a shot. All right, so first up, just a bit of wood glue. And this is probably not strictly necessary down here. But I figure it'll go in, hook up all the wood together, and maybe make things work better. Then, we need some silicone. So here's where we question, will the silicone come out? And also I'm going to put on my herpa gloves, because who wants sticky stuff on their fingers if they can avoid it? All right. Silicone's good. Or at least there's enough of it. This is just to try to keep water outside of everything if possible. Now one of these screws goes in just fine. The other one you actually have to screw in. So I'm going to use this guy that goes in just fine. It was on the back to begin with so we're going to put it there and use that to index that hole a little bit. Use this guy to index this hole. All right. So I'm not going to tighten that all the way until I get this one in. And hopefully it's going to bite into that toothpick and get some purchase here. If nothing else, the silicone will hold this down to the deck a bit. So I'm going down. Oh, there it squished pretty well. Well, now my other screw isn't really being super tight. Maybe I should have put a toothpick on that side, too. Well, too late now. All right, let's see about getting some of this silicone up. That side. I'll do the other side. It's clear, so it's not too visible on the deck. But we don't want mud and silicone mixed up all over the place there. All right, we're going to set that up, see how it works. All right, this thing's had a day to dry, and it's not wiggling at least. I'll find out after I go sailing if it pops out, but it seems to be better than it was before.